removing 3D prints requires a little bit of finesse. It's not all about prying the 3D print off and forcing it off. When you're done with your first print, you want to first mark the clipboard and put the time in so the studio can keep track of how many hours each printer is using. It also helps us track in case there's a, pro a problem with the printer and we can ask that person if they experienced any issues in the past. If you need to lower the bed, you can simply just push down on the bed until it lowers to where you can get your hands in there without uh, bumping everything around. So you want to use the palette knife on the side of the machine. There's a palette knife on the right hand side and it's very thin and sharp. So you don't want to, you know, accidentally stab your hand and slide with it. So always make sure that you're pushing away from yourself and you're working your way around the print. You don't want to use the palette knife as a pry bar because you'll just bend it. You want to wedge it. So find an edge, find an edge that you can get under, and if it's hard to get under, just work your way around until you find a little give. And you can see that the, the palette knife slides under, and it be begins to break that, kind of like a seal. But you can see I'm pushing away from myself, there we go. And then I'm going to work my way towards the middle. And that cracking is just the sound of the print breaking away from the bed. Again, I'm not popping up on it. I'm not pulling up and using it like a pry bar. It's just to get it under there and kind of break the seal. And you can see how my arm slipped there. So that's why you always want to push away from yourself. Don't use your hand to try to catch the print. You can easily slice into your hand with this piece. So now you can see it's loose. Easily pop that off and you can see this is the brim. You can take that off. Remove any debris. You know, make sure the nozzle is cool. So if the printer has been sitting for a while, it should be nice and cool. But if the print just stopped, allow it to cool uh, to where that cooling fan right on the front um, turns off. And then you can turn the printer off on the back. So just remember to mark that time down. And to if you have any trouble with the print or the printer itself, make sure to mark it on the maintenance clipboard.